It's a congregation of believers that welcomes everyone. David Ben-Gurion, the first Prime Minister of Israel, would have felt welcome. He felt a kinship with anyone having positive feelings for Israel and Jews. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so what we're doing is we're doing, uh, uh, you spoke the earth. It's mainly Christians, some Jewish believers, I'm a Jewish believer, and it's mainly Christians who are really hungry, just like supernaturally, all of a sudden after they got to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, it's like all of a sudden they got this Jewish heart. The fellowship is just wonderful, plus the message is wonderful, and in addition to that, it brings us closer to God through our Jewish roots of the, uh, of the uh, Christian faith. That's why we're here, that's why we keep coming back. From the Bible, just getting back where we should be. I know in the 80s there was such this awe and inspiration with the Messianic Jewish Congregational Movement that so many Christians wanted a part of it. And so Christians started coming and worshiping God in a more Hebraic flavored way with Hebrew songs and with the Jewish holidays and some even went as far as start keeping kosher and wanting to wear talits. Oh, come on, don't Tell me, me what you really? enjoy about learning Hebrew. That's you a, want to know? That's, a, that's an easy question. That's an easy question. It's the language of the Lord. And it makes the Bible come alive. So if I were going to say a uh, female, like, uh, didn't study last night. This is horrible. It's, uh... Havara. 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 And ha uh, boy again is Haver. Haver. I'm going to roll my R's. <laughs> but you know what? The take-home message is we are the sons and daughters of the Most High God. There is a man on the throne, his name is Yeshua HaMashiach, he's the one we serve. All of a sudden they love Israel, they love the Jewish people, and they don't understand really. And they're, they're intrigued, I've, I've inter interviewed a lot of them, and they're intrigued with the Jewish Jesus, Jesus, Yeshua as the man, and not only as the Messiah. And you know, why did God choose a Jewish Messiah? What I like about the he Hebraic Roots movement is it's, it's a twofold thing. Um, we get to teach Christians that without the Torah, we wouldn't have Christianity, but we get to teach the Jews that it's all because of Jesus, you know. So for those that haven't accepted Jesus, you know what I'm saying, they get to see from the Torah that everything points to him. Many Christians look at the Hebraic Roots movement as a bunch of rules, but they really miss the point. Jesus said he did not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. And we walk according to the living law, which is Jesus. Everybody has traditions. Some people like to follow certain holidays and feasts. And there are uh, what we would call church holidays and church feasts. And, you know, those are fine if you follow those. Uh, but for those that choose to follow the biblical holidays, these are holidays that are rich, that are filled with meaning, that all thoroughly point to Jesus. I would say we walk after the Spirit. And you can't go wrong when you're walking after the Spirit. We all know that we're saved only by the blood of Yeshua, whoever you are. But that there's also a way that God wants us to live. And for a Jewish person, that's a distinctly Jewish way. But for a Gentile person, it's a way that can be much enhanced or amplified to see Yeshua, to see Jesus in his Jewish context. Blessings. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Y'all ready to worship the Lord today? Yes, yes, yes. What is this about all of these different idiomatic phrases uh, that... Uh, that he said, you know, what does it really mean? A lot of these sayings that he would say, a lot of us think it's one meaning, but when you study the Jewish roots of the faith, when you study that time period, the first century church, uh, you realize, wow, that's what he meant, because that's what they did then. Yeah.
why people are coming to this congregation. Uh, a lot of it they, mainly is because they just want to understand uh, God, get closer to God, and so they want to understand the Jewish Jesus. You have to realize that Jesus was a Jew. The first believers were Jews. The Bible was written by Jews. But for 2,000 years, we've been looking at Christianity through the eyes of the Romans and Greeks.